Greetings and welcome to all fellow history enthusiasts. Today, we journey back in time to the golden sands and shimmering banks of the Nile. Join me as we dust off the ancient scrolls and uncover the lives of five extraordinary women who left an indelible mark on the very fabric of ancient Egyptian society. Our journey begins with a vision of beauty, a queen whose very image has transcended millennia, Nefertiti. Her name, meaning the beautiful one has come, echoes through time, her iconic bust a testament to her enduring allure. But Nefertiti was far more than just a beautiful face. She was a shrewd political strategist and a powerful force behind the throne during the reign of her husband, the enigmatic pharaoh Akhenaten. Together, they challenged the long-held power of the Amun priesthood, shifting the religious epicenter to a new city, Akhetaten, dedicated to the Aten, the sun disk. Some scholars even believe she may have ruled as co-regent, her authority equal to that of the pharaoh himself. Did she fall from grace? Did she assume a new identity, perhaps even ruling as pharaoh in her own right? The answers remain elusive, lost to the sands of time. Yet the legacy of Nefertiti, the beautiful queen who dared to challenge the status quo, continues to fascinate us. From the enigmatic Nefertiti, we turn our attention to a pharaoh who shattered the mold of ancient Egyptian rulership, Hatshepsut. Her name, meaning foremost of noble women, hints at the extraordinary life she was destined to lead. Unlike other women who held power behind the scenes, Hatshepsut ruled Egypt not as a queen but as a king, adopting the full titles and regalia of a male pharaoh. Her reign, spanning over two decades in the 15th century BC, was marked by unprecedented peace and prosperity. Hatshepsut's most enduring legacy, however, is undoubtedly her magnificent mortuary temple at Deir el-Bari. Picture this, a colossal complex of terraces, colonnades, and courtyards carved into the sheer cliffs of the Theban necropolis, its walls adorned with vibrant reliefs depicting Hatshepsut's divine birth and her many accomplishments as pharaoh. After Hatshepsut's death, her name was systematically erased from monuments, her statues defaced, her memory seemingly consigned to oblivion. Rediscovered in the 19th century, her story continues to inspire, a testament to the ambition and audacity of a woman who dared to break down barriers and claim her rightful place in history. Our journey through time takes us now to the twilight of ancient Egypt, to the reign of Cleopatra VII, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom. Her name has become synonymous with beauty, intelligence, and political cunning, her story immortalized in literature, art, and film, but beyond the romanticized portrayals lies a shrewd and ambitious ruler, a woman who navigated the treacherous waters of Roman politics with remarkable skill. Cleopatra ascended to the throne, co-ruling with her younger brother Ptolemy III at the tender age of 18. Enter Julius Caesar, a Roman general embroiled in a bitter civil war. Cleopatra, in a legendary display of theatricality, is said to have had herself smuggled into Caesar's presence rolled up in a carpet. She charmed Caesar, securing his support and solidifying her position as ruler of Egypt. Their alliance, both political and romantic, would shape the destiny of the Mediterranean world. After Caesar's assassination, Cleopatra found herself once again seeking a powerful Roman protector. She set her sights on Mark Antony, one of Caesar's most trusted generals. Outmaneuvered by Octavian, Caesar's adopted son, Antony and Cleopatra were defeated at the Battle of Actium. Their dreams of a shared empire dashed upon the rocks of Roman ambition. Facing certain capture and humiliation at the hands of Octavian, Cleopatra chose a dramatic end, taking her own life, legend has it, through the bite of an asp. Our journey takes us now to the reign of Rameses II, a pharaoh renowned for his military exploits and his ambitious building projects. Behind this powerful ruler stood a woman of extraordinary grace and influence, Nefertari, whose name means the most beautiful of them all. Nefertari was not simply Rameses queen, she was his beloved, his confidant, his closest advisor. Inscriptions on monuments throughout Egypt proclaim Rameses' deep affection for Nefertari, referring to her as the one for whom the sun shines. She was more than just a beautiful face, she was a woman of intellect and diplomacy, playing an active role in courtly affairs. Nefertari's piety was renowned throughout Egypt. She was a devoted follower of the goddess Hathor, and her patronage of the arts and her support for religious institutions earned her the respect and admiration of her subjects. But perhaps the most enduring testament to Nefertari's legacy is her magnificent tomb in the Valley of the Queens. 
lavishly decorated with vibrant paintings depicting scenes from her life, her journey through the underworld, and her encounters with the gods. Though Nefertari's time on Earth was cut short, she died around the 24th year of Rameses II's reign, her memory lived on, her legacy secured as one of the most influential and beloved queens in ancient Egyptian history. Our journey concludes with a remarkable woman who lived in a time of turmoil and upheaval, a woman who defied expectations and secured her place in history through her courage and her unwavering determination. Ahotep I. Ahotep. I lived during the 17th dynasty, a time when Egypt was divided, its northern territories occupied by the Hyksos, a foreign power from the Levant. Ahotep's husband, Sekinenre Tau, the last king of the 17th dynasty, led the fight against the Hyksos, but he met an untimely end on the battlefield. With her husband dead and her country on the brink of collapse, Ahotep I rose to the challenge. She assumed the mantle of leadership, rallying her people and inspiring them to fight for their freedom. Ahotep I, recognizing the need for a strong successor, strategically orchestrated the transition of power to her sons, Kamose and Amose I. Under her guidance, her sons launched a series of campaigns against the Hyksos, gradually reclaiming lost territories and pushing the invaders back toward their stronghold in the north. Ahotep was no mere figurehead. She played an active role in the war effort, rallying troops, securing resources and ensuring the stability of the kingdom. Her courage and leadership earned her the respect and admiration of her people. Hailed as a warrior queen, a protector of Egypt, her name echoing through the ages as a symbol of resilience and unwavering patriotism. As we bid farewell to the land of pharaohs and pyramids, we carry with us the stories of these remarkable women. What other remarkable women shaped ancient Egypt? Share your thoughts and discoveries in the comments below.